Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I'm Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, today is a special day. Why? Because it is actually my birthday, and I love you guys so much that I'm spending some time with you on my birthday because that's what I love to do. So, today we're going to talk about something that I like a lot, right? So, if you look at this article that I'm going to do for the video tonight, it is actually called Gun Sale Background Checks Are Cooling Off, Smith & Wesson Stock Is Dropping. All right, well, if you're just looking at that article, you'd say, whoa, wait a minute, hold on a second, it's going down? Well, that's, is it over? Is ammo available again? <laughs> Not quite the case, and let me show you what the media does with any bits of information, and they tell half-truths, because this is important. The gun buying spree is nowhere near over, but we're going to dive into this in one second. Now, speaking of ammo, earlier this year, I did a basically a newsletter which is in the description box below where I would send out email links on Tuesdays for ammo and Friday for uh, rifle of anything that I could find online and I would send it to your inboxes for free just to help you guys out. I stopped doing it about mid-April quite honestly because the demand kind of died off. If you guys would like me to do that again let me know in the comments field below and I have no problem doing that again. I just thought you guys were good but if you're not I can always send it again. But now let's get into this comment uh, into this little article because there's a lot here. All right, so, like I mentioned, gun sale background checks are cooling off. Smith & Wesson stock is dropping, right? Is it? Let's check out the actual details, because this says a lot about where the American public is. Smith & Wesson stock is up nearly 50% since the gun manufacturer reported strong earnings last month. But a surge in demand that has helped lift the shares could be fading. It's fading? That's not good. How bad is it fading? <laughs> Here we go, people. According to the data from the National Instant Criminal Background Check System, or NICS, the adjusted number of background checks during June was 41% lower than it was a year earlier. Now, if you just run with that one little data point, you'd think, holy crap, 41%? That's a tremendous drop. <laughs> Enter the American people. Here's the real whole story, and this is why this is important. Background checks on handguns, which represent 78% of Smith & Wesson's firearm sales, were down 47% year over year last month, so in June. While the figure for long, gun was, long guns was down 35%. Cohen analyst, someone, said fewer people may be buying a gun as personal protection for the first time. Hmm. But he also noted that a surge in sales last June established an unusually high reference point. Background checks for handguns in June of 2020 were 178% higher than in June of 2019. Okay, so yeah, it's falling by 41%. Uh, quick math, that puts us at 137%. <laughs> like, these are the games these people play. We're at 137% background checks on new firearm purchases in this June, and you're saying it's a decline? It may be a decline from the highs of last year, 178%, but it is by no means a normal decline or a normal market. We're still massively over, which means more pressure on ammunition production and more pressure on inventories for actual firearms. As you guys know, it's hard to find right now. That's why I said, I'll, I'll send the links out again if you want me to, just let me know. But, and this is where, this is the end of the article. Still, he said, last month's checks were the second best for any Jude on record. Only June last year, when checks were 136% higher than in June 2019, had a higher total. Okay, why is this article in existence? The reason it's in existence is to pour cold water on the fact that the gun movement is still growing, even though the left has failed in almost every attempt, specifically federally. The only thing that has not failed federally on gun control is Chipman, or Chapman. I can never remember the guy's name. The ATF director? It's Chapman. This guy, mm, 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 mm. he ain't great. It's actually Chipman. Doesn't matter. You know who I'm talking about. The point is, we're still pending on that one, and we're going to see what happens. But look at uh, look what is going on around us. On a state level, the gun battle is now happening on a state level. It's not happening on a federal level. They lost that battle as of right now. But now they're trying to douse the flames of the amazing gun market with stupid articles like, Gun sale background checks are cooling off. Smith & Wesson stock is dropping. Yeah, it dropped from 178% of handgun background checks to 
over normal. Put that in perspective, guys. That's all I've got for you tonight. I just wanted to give you this article because number one, it shows the gun movement is still alive and well and growing. And number two, it shows desperation on the media to pour water on it. And number three, I just wanted to get this out to you guys on my birthday, help you guys uh, or have you guys celebrate with me. And until tomorrow, I'm Braden. See you later.